Well, if nothing succeeds like success, then slowing down is not an option. That is the strategy at the Port of Baltimore, where Alex Dimitri reports heavy demand is bringing in some heavy hardware. Cargo aboard this ship is not passing through the port of Baltimore. It's been shipped in to stay right here. Staged for unloading in the days ahead are six new portable yard cranes, massive steel frames that can roll under their own power, operated from a control cab suspended from above. Their purpose? Get trucks in and out of the port quicker. They do it by moving cargo containers stacked in storage lots onto trucks for shipment. The port already has 16 of the cranes. Another six are needed because business is booming. This infrastructure is needed uh, to accommodate the uh, significant container growth that we've had at the port over the past 18 months. Growth spurred by a new generation of supersized ships carrying millions of tons of cargo. An 11 percent increase last year with more increases expected to come all of which eats up storage space. The faster containers can move out, the more can move in. Keeping up with demand also ensures jobs. It really is. Uh, the, the port generates Where? over 13,000 direct jobs and nearly 130,000 jobs in Maryland. Set against the backdrop of acres of containers, the six new cranes already have their work cut out for them. Alex Dimitrik, WJZ. Now, the economic impact of the port includes $3 billion a year in labor costs and over $300 million in tax payments.